early in 2019, we had the thought of converting a van. By the end of 2019, the plans were serious enough to create a full-scale mock-up of that design in our garage. So what you're about to see is a video of that mock-up. This mock-up is to actual size. And while I've been making each prototype, I often have to refer back to this video. I've already made the prototypes for the recirculating shower system, the sink, the reverse osmosis water system, the bed frames, the drawer slides, and the electrical system. Some of you have asked me in some of my prototype videos what that blue tape was on the floor. That blue tape that you see in these videos is the actual dimensions of the inside of the van. So please hit subscribe and if you like this video give me the thumbs up because what you're about to see is what started all the prototyping. Walking in through the sliding door, there'll be a light switch, a small flip-up countertop, which will be the full width of the counter. Directly in front is a shower, 32 by 30. On the left is a sink. 23 by 17 and a half. It'll be 10 inches deep. Below the sink will be water tanks. I'm expecting three or four 16 gallon tanks linked together. And of course, the water pump. Next to the sink is a stove top and an oven. It will be a three burner range and a small um, oven. There will be a small flip up counter here that again will be the full width. A seat. Under the seat there's storage about 20 inches deep by 24 inches wide and 18 inches high. Above that on the wall some knickknacks magnetic knife holder, maybe a spice rack. Above that, cabinets for dry goods. Then we have the bed platform. The bed will be 54 by 75, which is a standard size mattress. Above the bed will be clothing cabinets, 53 inches long, 23 inches high, by 12 inches deep. They'll be divided into two, his and hers, with LED lighting and probably one or two shelves. In front of the bed, you'll see that there's going to be a door, drop down door to access the propane tank to shut it off, and a laundry hamper. I envision some type of waterproof bag that we can stuff our dirty clothes in. There'll be a pull out table, possibly below that a silverware drawer, and then a cabinet that's 16 inches wide, 16 inches deep, and 23 inches tall. have to remember that the mattress is going to be six inches thick. From the wooden platform for the bed 
to the ceiling it'll be 41 inches 41 and a half inches of distance just enough for me to sit on the mattress and not hit my head on the roof there's going to be a large skylight actually a hatch that we can crawl out and go on the roof deck which is where the solar cells will be and enough deck to be able to sit out there at night and watch the sun go down then there's a storage cabinet which I envision being a charging station for camera batteries charging laptops and possibly a microwave oven then there's a another longer seat directly below that inside that seat will actually be a hot water heater a water pump and a five gallon water tank there'll be a pump transfer switch which will pump from our main tanks into the five gallon water tank the hot water heater holds four gallons so that's a total of nine gallons which will recycle to take a shower after you're done with the shower you'll press another button which will dump that into the gray tank and or dump the gray tank depending on where you are then another nine gallons would be pumped in for the next person taking a shower then next to that is a seven to nine cubic foot refrigerator freezer the refrigerator freezer below it will have a large pull out drawer approximately 23 by 23 by 20 the pull out drawer is located there to lift the refrigerator up to make it easier to access and it also provides air circulation for the compressor of the refrigerator and that leads us right back to the shower at the back of the van the garage the bed is 41 inches down from the roof and 31 and a half inches up from the floor the floor is three quarter inch plywood on top of foam board for insulation on this side there's a reverse osmosis water tank so we can go water anywhere these are the reverse osmosis water filters a modified air conditioner behind that the propane tank a sealed box for the propane which is vented to the outside through the bottom of the van that right there is the wheel well which above that will be where the laundry hamper is put these back in position above those tanks and boxes will be a 10 inch from the top drawer slide that'll be 26 inches wide and 28 inches deep next to that will be a double drawer slide which will also be 10 inches from the top and one on the bottom which will be 36 inches deep and 15 inches wide next to that will be a drawer slide for the two mountain bikes 19 inches wide by 53 inches long and then finally we get to the electrical area the USB outlet and light switch and 110 volt outlet is for the person on this side of the bed and also if we have to hook or plug in some some drills or power equipment out the back of the van below that will be the electrical panels this is the inverter and then above the wheel well there will be room for four lithium ion batteries 
and that's pretty much the full van build. So that's the mock-up that started it all. All of these prototype videos that I've been doing. So far I've already done videos for the composting toilet, the recirculating shower system, soon to come out will be the electrical system, the drawer slides for the mountain bikes, and the bed frame. If you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want to know when the next video comes out, hit the little bell notification button, and you'll see me on the next video. Thank you for watching.